Hello, welcome. x plus y equal to 6 and xy equal to 36. The question says find x and y. First, let us call this equation 1 and this equation 2. From equation 1, x is equal to 6 minus y. When we transfer y to the right side, let us call this the third equation. The next step now is to replace this particular x with 6 minus y. This equation now becomes 6 minus y times y equal to 36. 6 times y that is 6y minus y times y that is minus y squared equal to 36. This implies that y squared minus 6y plus 36 is equal to 0. By just transferring each of these guy to the right hand side, let's continue. You will observe that this is a quadratic equation and we can solve it using quadratic formula. The quadratic formula says y is equal to minus b plus or minus square root of b square minus 4 times a times c all divided by 2 times a. From this quadratic equation, our a happens to be 1, coefficient of y square, and b is equal to minus 6, coefficient of y, and c is equal to 36, the constant. Let's continue. y is equal to minus, what is b? b is minus 6, we have minus 6, plus or minus square root of b b is minus 6, that will be minus 6 all squared minus 4 times, what is A? A is 1 times, what is C? C is 36. Everything divided by 2 times A, A is 1. So we have 1. Let's proceed further. Y equal to minus times minus 6, that is 6 plus or minus square root of minus 6 all square that is 36 minus 4 times 1 times 36 that is 144 divided by 2 times 1 that is simply 2 y equal to 6 plus or minus square root of 36 minus 144 that is minus 108 divided by 2 y equal to 6 plus or minus square root of minus 108 could be written as square root of minus 1 times square root of 108 divided by 2. y equal to 6 plus or minus. From the complex number, don't forget that square root of minus 1 is the same thing as i. So this becomes i times we can also rewrite square root of 108 as square root of 36 times square root of 3 divided by 2 y equal to 6 plus or minus i square root of 36 that is simply 6 times square root of 3 divided by 2 y equal to you will notice that we can factor out 2 from these two guys that means we are going to have 2 times 3 plus or minus i times 3 root 3 divided by 2. 2 cancels 2. We are left with y equal to 3 plus or minus i times 3 root 3. This means that y is equal to 3 plus i times 3 root 3 or y is equal to 3 minus i times 3 root 3. Let's call this y1 and let us call this y2. Now, since from equation 3, equation 3 says x is equal to 6 minus y. Let me show you where we got this from. This is equation 3. Let's proceed further. We 
we now consider each value of y when y is equal to 3 plus i times 3 root 3. This equation now becomes x equal to 6 minus 3 plus i times 3 root 3. x equal to 6 minus times 3 that is minus 3. Minus times plus that is minus i 3 root 3. x is equal to 6 minus 3 that is simply 3 minus i times 3 root 3. Therefore, the first solution that we have now is x, let's call this x1, comma y1, equal to, this happens to be our x1 now, 3 minus i times 3 root 3, comma y, which is also our y1, 3 plus i times 3 root 3. This is the first solution for the systems of two equations. Now, let us consider when y2 is equal to 3 minus i times 3 root 3. Let's just manage here. When y is equal to 3 minus i times 3 root 3. Plugging this value of y into this equation, we are going to have x equal to 3 minus, sorry, 6 minus our y now is this guy, 3 minus i times 3 root 3. x is equal to 6 minus times 3, that is minus 3. Minus times minus, that is plus i times 3 root 3. x is equal to 6 minus 3, that is 3, plus i times 3 root 3. This happens to be our x2. And this is y2. Let's continue. Therefore, the second solution that we have now is s2, y2 is equal to s2 is 3 plus i times 3 root 3, comma y2 is 3 minus i times 3 root 3, 3 minus i times 3 root 3. This is the second solution. And this is our first solution. That's it for this video. Thanks for watching.